This is a Danish type of cheese cutter that we use for cutting soft cheese. And you can see that it has a wire here that is uh, the cutting piece. And uh, at the end of it is a plastic thing that after numerous times in the dishwasher basically goes apart. Uh, and uh, yeah. So it's time for a repair and I have four of these and essentially all of them are gone. Then I tried to design one in Fusion and I did a 3D print and it looked nice but problem is that the wire cuts itself through the plastic. So no really good solution. So I have been uh, trying to make a toolpath for aluminum and basically I'll try to to uh, make a 3D uh, carving in aluminum using a 2 mm uh, uh, ball nose and uh, the estimated time is 2 hours for the cut so we'll see how it works and I can shortly show how uh, I did it in Fusion. Yeah, here we are in Fusion and uh, this is the object I made uh, and it was done in a fairly simple way. I uh, simply started out making a sketch uh, showing the outline of the item uh, and then I extruded that and started to sculpt it uh, using uh, the features uh, that's available. I'll not go through that, you can find tons of video describing that. But uh, you can make this nice uh, curved surface fairly easily. Then of course you could use the uh, the camp portion of uh, Fusion to uh, make the camp, but I actually just exported the uh, STL uh, and put it into uh, the Vitric Aspire. Uh, I made four copies uh, for it, uh, and uh, then I used the uh, 3D carving first, making uh, the rough cut and then uh, the finishing cut and uh, a quick uh, preview of that would look like this. So you're making the rough cut where you see like all the uh, levels and then the fine cut uh, afterwards uh, and you have nice version here. So uh, we'll go out and do it on the machine. Yeah, so here we are with the finished product. Uh, 
And I think actually they came out really, really nice with all the curvature and everything. 